What is going on guys, JT Gilly back with another video and before we even get into today's video, if you guys haven't seen my last video, pause this, go back and watch the epicness that took place. Ladies and gentlemen, on our last raid of the adventure, we ran into a 100% IV weather boosted legendary Zekrom and it was absolutely epic, it was intense, it was nerve wracking, it's an instant classic video, I recommend you guys go watch it if you have not already, but spoiler alert, we caught one, so or we caught it, so we have a 100% IV Zekrom. We're back out here with another adventure. I'm going to do a Zekrom raid right now. We're about to hop in in a few seconds. We got a bunch of actually pretty crazy news to get into. We're gonna finish our special research and claim all the rest of the good stuff. So today's gonna be pretty epic, but let's go ahead and hop into the Zekrom raid. That's the squad we're going in with today. I don't know how many we're gonna do. There isn't a lot of reasons for us to be out here, but I do wanna get some more good Zekrom in general because other than that hundo, I think the best one I have is a 91. So we're out out here grinding regardless we're never satisfied we're happy but we're never satisfied so we're gonna keep on going baby i'm so happy i got it of course i would max it out in this video but i don't have enough rare candies oh i guess that's what we're here for we're here for more rare candies because i cannot max out that hundo zekrom with the candies i have right now i think we need some like some like a hundred more or something like that so gonna be a couple of videos till we get it but when i get enough i promise we're gonna max that bad boy out immediately and down it's gonna go right there i don't know if this one's gonna be boosted it or not i don't think so so let's prepare for 2307 and if it is boosted it's going to be 2884 what you're looking like what you're looking like 2250 so it's not weather boosted and it's not going to be too good all good i'll take it how many rare candies nine oh instead of golden raspberrying it we should definitely pineapp it it's not a good iv zekrom so it wouldn't be a bad idea Dia. Oh my gosh, got an excellent right there. Wouldn't be a bad idea to do so. One, okay, we just need the candies. We don't need any good ones, and this isn't a good one, so we're definitely going to do that. We're going to use all our pineapps on the Zekrom raids, try to build up the candy. Another excellent right there. Of course, if it's good, I'll use a golden raspberry, but for something like this, I'm good. I will say I've given him two excellents in a row, and my guy does not care. That's three excellents in a row. He does not care how good I throw the ball. One, I mean, if you guys saw the last video, you guys saw I got really, really close, and I was throwing perfect almost perfectly oh what the heck just happened right there but like i mentioned guys we do got a bunch of news to get into today special research and all that good stuff so it's going to be a great video i will tell you that much one two no we got two balls left i've actually hit a solid amount of excellence and uh it's not going down zekrom do you got it in you Nope. Well, here goes it. This is our final ball. This is our final ball. We got a pineapple on the Zekrom. Got another excellent. I'm going to put the phone screen down. I'm going to let it sit for a second. It didn't catch it. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't think I was going to catch it. Okay. We lost the Zekrom. It is what it is. I'm not worried about it. We hopefully got some candy out of it. And of course, right now is the Solstice event in Pokemon Go. I'm checking my recents. Okay, no shinies there. The Solstice event is going on in Pokemon Go. My Go Plus is on. I'm catching a bunch of really, really cool Pokemon that can be shiny. So we're going to talk a little bit about that right now ladies and gentlemen the solstice event is now live in pokemon go this event's going to start on june 19th at 8 a.m and last all the way up until june 24th at 10 p.m features of the event we're gonna have event themed pokemon in the wild raids field research and five kilometer eggs as usual then we're gonna have increased spawns of clefairy which can be shiny in the wild so make sure to stay on the lookout for that and there's gonna be double catch stardust which i didn't know about so double catch stardust is gonna be part of this so the event is based on solar Rock and Lunatone. They're both going to have increased spawn rates throughout the entirety of the event, but for the first two days, Soul Rock is going to be on the Western Hemisphere, and then Lunatone will be on the Eastern Hemisphere, and the next two days after that, both Pokemon are going to be appearing everywhere, and then two days after that, Lunatone and Soul Rock are going to swap again, so you can get a little graphic right there and see how everything's going to play out. I'm excited. I already have a shiny Soul Rock that I got a couple of months ago, but I don't have a shiny Lunatone, so I'm going to do my best to make that happen. Would also love to go for Clefairy as well. Also, we have some new that's regarding myself and my best buddy Darkrai. Ladies and gentlemen, I did this off camera, but I have my first ever best buddy in Pokemon Go. As you can see right here, this is the reward screen. You and Darkrai are now best buddies. If we head over to his name right there, we can go ahead and see the perks that we get for getting best buddies with Darkrai. We're going to get a CP boost, which is always super cool, and a best buddy ribbon. It's my first ever best buddy in Pokemon Go, and I'm really, really happy about it. It's a shiny Darkrai. This one meant a lot to me, but it's time to move on, and we do have a new buddy, so we're going to go ahead and swap Dark Rye with my guy. Where is he? Gonna be swapping Dark Rye with Lucky Hundo Garchomp. You know what it is, man. The CP 
CP boost on this guy is going to be insane. Also, we have our research breakthrough to claim, which is going to be super exciting. Ladies and gentlemen, I've waited all week, all week I've worked so, so hard in order to get, oh, and we got a Yanuba stone, that makes it so much cooler. I've worked all week and we're finally going to get Trap Inch, yes! 522 that's gonna be a bad IV trap inch let's go definitely gonna pine out this bad boy man oh man my hard work this week has really paid off I mean wow just kidding this sucks down goes the trap inch 522 CP IVs trash goodbye and here we are going in on our next legendary Zekrom raid it's already in the red Garchomp going in we got a nice squad going in right now it is not going to be weather boosted honestly ever since we got this hundo the pressure is off I mean we don't have to raid super super hard we don't have to get a good IV Pokemon but I would love if we could so let's go ahead and see what we're gonna get here 2307 2242 not gonna be any good three or candies on that one whatever it's all good 13 balls Gonna pineapp the heck out of this guy. Let's see if we can make it happen. Got a few excellents already. Let's go ahead and get another one right there. I don't, did we catch the last one? No, we did not catch the last one. So let's not go zero for two today. It's not looking good. He doesn't seem like he likes pineapps. Maybe he's allergic. I don't know. What if I give you another excellent? How about it? How about it, Zach Rom? Come on, man. Let me just get some candies out of you, baby. Come on. One, two. No. Got another excellent right there. What's new? Nothing really. Uh, just getting excellence all day. Is this going to matter? It is not. I'm just going to start chucking balls. I mean, they'll probably still be excellent because <laughs> it is what we it is what we do. It's what we do, really. Um, come on, man. Why are you being weird? Why are you being weird? Why are you being weird? No. Come on. Here we are down to the last ball. I'm pretty sure I have an excellent setup right there. Let's see if we can make it happen on the last ball. Are we going to go 0 for 2 today? I mean, granted, we've been pineapping them, pineapping them all, and we've thrown really well which I feel like should, you know, maybe help us a little bit. Another excellent right there. There's something in my eye. Three, two, one, and Zekrom is going to leave. Yeah, okay. Well, there goes uh, there goes Zekrom number two. That's fine. We got a bunch of rare candies anyway, so not a big deal. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into some GoFest 2020 brand new details. So GoFest 2020, virtual GoFest 2020 is going to be happening on July 25th and 26th. So it's going to be happening everywhere in the world. It's a virtual GoFest. If you buy it in Australia, India, California, wherever you are, you can play GoFest. It's going to be a two-day experience, so you get a two Two day experience with that one ticket it's gonna be available in the shop for $14.99 US dollars and it's not purchasable with pokey coins so day one we're going to be having the special research story that's only going to be available on day one so you got to get it done there's gonna be five rotating habitats which is gonna feature special Pokemon themed around fire water grass battle and friendship interesting habitats will rotate every hour so each habitat will be featured twice so because it is going to be two 10 hour events the first day Day, every hour is going to feature a different Pokemon and that Pokemon is going to be featured twice. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. GoFest exclusive, there'll be a global challenge area. If trainers complete a challenge every hour, they'll earn a bonus. I love that a lot. I'm interested to see what they're going to do with that. And then over 75 species of Pokemon to encounter in the wild in raids and from special research tasks. So this is going to be crazy, man. The GoFest rates are usually pretty high. Sorry, the GoFest shiny rates are usually pretty high. There's always some really cool and rare Pokemon spawning. I'm expecting a bunch of bonuses, hopefully some really dope items, and of course, some new Pokemon, new shinies, new items, we'll see. Day two, there's going to be an unknown surprise that'll be revealed on that day. What's that surprise? I'm assuming it's gonna be Jesse and James coming to Pokemon Go with you know some new Team Rocket storyline or something like that. Maybe, there's so many other things it could be, I don't know. And then there will also be another special research that's only going to be available for day two as well. We got some extras to the day as well that just talk about you know buying merch and stuff like that. So if you guys are interested, there's also GoFest merch available. I'm excited for GoFest, man. Gonna be filled with some awesome stuff as usual. You guys already know I love to do well at the GoFest. I love to grind them as much as possible. So I'm actually going to be putting out a video kind of soon here on how to maximize this year's virtual GoFest 2020, what to do to get prepared and what to do when it happens. We were also provided with this picture right here and it says Pokemon GoFest 2020 with the silhouette of a Pokemon known as Victini. Victini is a generation five mythical Pokemon that we're going 
going to be getting at this year's Go Fest. I'm assuming it's going to be the reward from the special research. I don't know which one or if we're going to get two or something like that, but expect to get a brand new mythical Pokemon coming to Pokemon Go very soon here. And now we have another huge announcement that they dropped on us out of nowhere. And to be honest, I don't know how to feel about it. We'll discuss it more in a future video when we have more details on it. But ladies and gentlemen, in 2020, Mega Evolution, Mega Evolution Pokemon will be coming to Pokemon Go. You can look forward to meeting Mega Evolved Pokemon in the real world. Hashtag Pokemon Go. For those of you that know what this is, this is big. This is exciting, I guess. I don't know how to feel about it. Like I said, we got to wait on some details. Um, but, you know, when the time comes, we'll discuss this. Just letting you guys know that Mega Evolution Pokemon have been announced. And now that we got all the news out the way, let's go ahead and finish our special research. I've been waiting to do this for a while now. Give me those golden raspberries. Give me that silver pineapple berry and let's get this reward. What's it going to be? Snivy. Let's see if it's going to be a good CP. 364. Doesn't sound too bad. Doesn't sound too bad. Let's see how it is. Oh my God. Oh my God. Wow. 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 Wowzers. Wowzers. Wow. 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 I was not expecting that at all. I was not expecting that at all. I was like, it sounded good. 100% IB Snivy. That's insane. I actually already have a 100% IV Tepig, so we are almost completing the Generation 5 family right there. Whoa! Whoa, the starter family right there. That's insane. Shout out to the research. Finally, after weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and researches and researches and rewards and rewards, we finally get something good. Nice. And then uh, let's go ahead and claim the rest of the task off right there. We're going to get some more Stardust, more XP, and another encounter reward, and it's going to be Audino. Pokedex Audino. I actually don't have this. I don't know why I haven't caught it. It's popped up on me a couple times, but every time I didn't have the chance to get it. So that was a horrible ball. Let's go ahead and grab this right now. I'm honestly not sure why this is considered a rare Pokemon, but it is. Bad IVs on it right there. I quick caught it, so we didn't get to see the Pokedex edition screen, but this was my first ever Audino in Pokemon Go. Anyways, let's go ahead and finish off the research. Stage five is done right there. We still have two more rewards. What the heck are they going to be? I don't even know. Stunfisk. Galarian Stunfisk right there. Give me that, 891. Down it goes, 891 IVs, not great. And finishing off the rewards there, we get Fiber Candies, Professor Willow Glasses. So we got a new little avatar item right there. And another encounter reward, Genesect. There is Genesect, duh. Duh, I knew that, I knew that. 1395 CP, let me go ahead and silver pineapple this bad boy, Ultra Ball. Got a great right there, come on Genesect. I don't remember what the 100% IV was for Genesect and I don't even know where to find the 100% IV, so we're gonna have to see if this one's gonna be any good. I feel like it's in the 1400s, I don't know, something like that, but anyways. Got it right there. Got a great. Come on, man. I want this with the pineapple. I need the candies. Can I get a one, two, three? Down it goes right there. Our third ever Genesect. How many Genesect do we have? I think this is our third one ever. Down it goes. 1395. IVs are. 11, 11, 13. Not going to be too great. Not going to be too great at all. But it's another Genesect. I'm happy about it. It's a dope, dope Pokemon from Generation 5. And I'll take it. I'm still working on the other special research that I purchased from the shop. Again, this just gives us a bunch of candies and Stardust and XP. So just kind of doing that for fun. But ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you guys have not already. Honestly, very dope video. I'm happy about it. We got some really, really cool news that we talked about. We got a random brand new hundo which i love we didn't get any rush or sorry we didn't get any zekrom today which is whatever and then we finished off the special research let me know in the comments down below what your guys's best zekrom is and actually let me know what you guys's best genet sect is have a great rest of your day and i'll see your faces later deuces